Growing up is tough and confusing as it is, but imagine being uprooted and moving to a different country at the age of eight. I had no friends, knew no one. I want to go eat lunch. Who do I eat it with? I had no one. Meet 13-year-old Tanvi Arikapudi, who moved from Ireland to Woodenville, Washington for her father's job in 2019. I had to leave all my old friends that I've like known my whole life. I felt vulnerable. I felt isolated. After trying to juggle it all on her own, one day I suddenly burst out crying. So Tanvi finally finally decided to open up about struggles to her family. And they were like, it's okay, I understand what you're going through. And it was then her mother taught her about mindfulness and coping strategies like visualization and breathing techniques. And that made me feel calm and really peaceful. I actually like wasn't thinking about the school assignment that was coming up or what do I do when I don't have friends at school lunch, or like all those thoughts weren't coming to me. And she started noticing her friends going through similar challenges. It helped me relieve myself a little bit because it's like, wow, I have coping strategies that help. Now I can um, share these with others that I know are going through their emotions similar. But before she could start sharing her strategies, she was hit with another roadblock. COVID-19. So you just kind of felt like you were just all alone with the computer not being able to interact or even get support you need in school especially. But equipped with the knowledge that others were going through tough times too, she got to work. I started the Empowerment Club at my school. This is a place where all my peers could openly connect with one another. Even via Zoom, Tanvi could see a major improvement in her classmates. Seeing just so many teens getting this benefit just from a school club, I wanted to make it bigger. So she got to writing and published her own book in 2022. My book Uplifting Today is not only about my personal story of moving day-to-day -day challenges, I also share like coping strategies in those challenges that I implemented in an interactive way. So I really think coming from a teenage perspective and sharing this with other teenagers really helps for them to get it more. Since then, she has not slowed down. Today, I am the Youth Ambassador of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I'm the recipient of the CPN Dorothy Johnson Humanitarian Award. I'm part of the Student and Wellness Safety Task Force for my school district and I'm also the recipient of Presidential Service Award. But she says there's more work to be done. There's still a lot more I want to do to spread the message that you're not alone to all the teens worldwide. She hopes to one day do a TED Talk um, about mental health, become a psychologist when I'm older. And continue to break the mental health stigma. I truly believe that when we break the mental health stigma, all of us can get the care and support we need. And to anyone out there struggling, don't feel isolated. Don't feel like you're the only one going through this. Because if you look out, all of us are going through emotions. Thanks, Tanvi, for breaking the silence to empower teens.